up y'all back with another video uh so quick update uh, i don't know if you guys saw my last video if you haven't i'll link it down below uh where there was another red day in crypto um i just spoke about how these things happen from time to time uh, in the crypto world um and that's just you know if you see a 20 percent down you don't sell if you believe in your coin, if you believe in the technology behind it, quote unquote, if you believe in the team, if you believe it's going to have some real value, or even if you just believe that the hype is enough that it'll come, you know, that it's, you know, don't, I don't know, don't do that. But you got you got to hold your coins like it's it's another day we uh just found out i guess the news leaked this morning or people are starting to talk about today that uh chinese the chinese government has decided to ban icos uh for chinese investors or chinese investors in china um so obviously i'm holding neo that took a substantial dive I think it was around 35 bucks last night and it went all the way down to 19. Uh, Bitcoin dropped from about, I don't know where it was at before it dropped, maybe 46 to 4,200. I even saw it for 4,000 on Bitrix. Um, so it's a, it's a bad day in crypto, quote unquote. You know, it's a correction day, it's a FUD day, whatever you want to call it. But as always, is any of us who've been in here for any amount of months, years, or anything, this always happens and it always comes back, you know, a few weeks later, at the most a few months later, you know, especially at this time, I think we're still in that bull market where mass adoption is, is beginning to take off. These small corrections will be a blip on the radar in a few years you know ICOs ban in China is a substantial blow but it's not the end of crypto at all it's gonna continue to make plenty of people massively rich if you hold if you invest now if you buy on days like these if you sell at the highs when people are ecstatic about crypto and just wait for days like these you can make tons of money uh, but you just have to be patient and you have to know that these are the days when you buy. This morning was a perfect time to buy. Um, I didn't have anything on the sideline this time to actually buy. Um, so I'm just holding. Um, and that's it. I'll, I'll uh, make sure I have a little stash next time this market runs up. I'll take a little bit of profit out. Have a little stash for the next time we have something like this. Because it'll be in a month or two or in a few weeks or... When Bitcoin forks, people will be fudding for a few days and they'll FOMO because they'll want to get the extra coin. And, you know, if you can be there to buy in on those days where people are assuming cryptocurrency is dead, that's when you really make a killing. So if you have some money on the sidelines today, it might be a good time to invest. Again, this is not professional financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, this is just my opinions on if I had money on the sideline right now that I wanted to put in, I would buy today. Um, what else? I saw an article which didn't seem like it got a lot of attention from what I saw. I haven't heard anything else about it. I saw the article. I haven't seen any, uh, chat about it in any of these Slack groups or, uh, Facebook groups about, um, Ethereum Russia is something coming. It's an article from Business Insider. Uh, the title is Ethereum Ethereum's founder strikes deal with Russian bank creates Ethereum Russia. So, uh, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin has struck a deal to create a completely new entity called Ethereum Russia with Russia's state-owned bank for development and foreign economic affairs, otherwise known as Finishkana Bank, VEB. Ethereum Russia was founded by Buterin and Vladislav Martinov, CEO of Yoda Devices, a mobile communications and connectivity devices company based in Russia. 
it was created to enhance the country's ability to implement blockchain, blockchain technology. Um, Martinoff explained Ethereum Russia will provide education, events, and architecture review for VEB and guide the development of a new center for blockchain research in the National University of Science and Technology. It is funded by VEB. Um, the reason Ethereum Russia and Ethereum Foundation must be two separate entities is so that the foundation may remain pure and without conflicts of interest. This way, other variable collaboration with Russian government and corporate bodies may proceed on its own Ethereum platform without a hitch. Um, so that's pretty uh, good news, I would say, for Ethereum. Um, a lot of people were concerned that Ethereum is too aligned with um, governments around the world. Um, and this shows a deviation from that uh, idea maybe at this point. Um, that they're creating a new fork, I guess, of Ethereum, um, Ethereum Russia, which will be strictly for the private government sector of Russia. Um, and the reason they're saying is to prevent any uh, conflict of interest with the main Ethereum. Um, so that seems to be a pretty good thing, you know, for people who are doubting Vitalik's, um, motivations behind creating Ethereum, people thinking that Ethereum is going to lead to Skynet or uh, tracking everyone's different uh, activities, you know, who knows, you may need blockchain to open your refrigerator or order some food or who knows the point it can go to or to open your car door or to you know, you might be tracked walking around your house. Who knows? But um, this is a sort of a deviation from that, showing that they do want to keep uh, the main Ethereum network uh, somewhat uncompromised. So um, I think that's a good thing. Um, I'll link the story down below. I haven't seen many people talking about it as of yet, um, but I think it's a positive for, for Ethereum. Um, shows that adoption is continuing um, Ethereum Russia will definitely push the main Ethereum brand further uh, give the main Ethereum brand more credibility uh, and more worldwide uh, just visibility so yeah I think it's a great thing for crypto uh, even though it's a red day trying to find a little bit of silver lining just hold on to your crypto another red day you know go take a nap go outside it's, it's uh it's the holiday. I'm going to try and get outside in a little while. Just doing a little bit of stuff. Um, but yeah. It, it'll be fine. Wait, check back in a week or two. And we'll be bet you'll be back to feeling good. And you'll, it'll probably be time to sell again then. So um, once again, thank you all for checking out the video. Uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Um, follow me on Instagram at legal underscore Jones. Uh, hit the like button if you appreciate this content. And uh, y'all keep buying that crypto.